If you had unlimited money, what kind of dream home would you build? For some people, their dream homes have come true in a big way. These towering American villas are more than 20 times the size of an average American home when measured in square feet. Many of them are now wonderful museums, others are university classrooms, and some are still private residences. Some are not yet fully built. What's up guys, hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to discuss the 10 biggest mansions in America. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 10. Indian Neck Hall, 75,000 square feet. Indian Neck Hall originally served as the country residence of Frederick Gilbert Bourne, along with his wife Emma Sparks Keeler. Bourne was the fifth president of the Singer Manufacturing Company, now known as the Singer Sewing Machine Company. This beautiful building was built in Georgian Revival architecture and was later bought by St. John's University in 2001. Number 9. Floorham, 80,000 square feet. Designed in 1890 to replicate a wing in Henry VIII's Hampton Court, Villa Floorham was first the country estate of Florence Vanderbilt and her husband, Hamilton Toombley. The mansion was as luxurious as one would expect from the Vanderbilts. 100 rooms and gardens designed by the same man who designed New York Central Park. In 1957, the 178-acre property was purchased by Fairleigh Dickinson University to serve as a third campus. The mansion is now known as Hennessy Hall. Number 8. Meadow Brook Hall, 88,000 square feet. Located in Rochester Hills, Michigan. Built in the 1920s for Matilda Dodge Wilson, widow of Dodge Automotive Company founder John Francis Dodge, Meadowbrook Hall has 110 rooms. In 1957, Wilson and her second husband donated the hall. Its collections, the 1,500-acre estate, and $2 million to found what would become Oakland University. After John Francis Dodge's death, his widowed wife, Matilda Dodge Wilson, built this two-door reviver style mansion with her second husband. Its prominent position in the automotive industry and the sheer beauty of its home has firmly secured its place as a National Historic Landmark. Meadowbrook Hall has a whopping 110 rooms and has been carefully preserved with as many original furnishings and artwork as possible. Number 7. Versailles 90,000 square feet Located in Windermere, Florida, Famous Florida couple David and Jackie Siegel have been building what they call a modern Versailles for over 18 years. Her efforts were documented in the 2012 film The Queen of Versailles. Construction wasn't exactly child's play. It stalled in 2009 when the financial recession hit. In 2019, according to Orlando Sentinel, Jackie regretted starting to build the house. 